today we have a discussion topic about Dynamics 365 Business Central and Dynamics NAV. So you, you have some experience in both platforms. Can you tell me a little bit about the similarities between the two? Okay, between Business Central and NAV, we can find a similar, similar way to create and post documents like purchase order, purchase invoice, sales order, sales symbols. So it's the same way that we have been doing uh, on NAV. Yes, how to create a general journal, how to create a cash receipt journal, how to create a customer, how to create a, a vendor. So these are the main si similar things that we have between NAV and Dynamics Business Central. Good. Uh, the, 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 the differences, I think, however, might be a little bit more prominent. So can you tell us some, some differences between Dynamics NAV and Dynamics 365 Business Central? Okay, the main difference between NAB and Dynamics Business Central is the way that we are going to develop. Yes, all the code, all that is under the, the way that we work with Business Central is that main change. Other change is the way that we are going to deploy now a project. In NAB, most of the projects was were into the on-premise way, yes. But now with Dynamics Business Central, we have to learn and manage all the deployments on cloud. So this is a, a big change. It's a big challenge for us also because we have to learn how to connect, how to create some interfaces between now we have the cloud, we have uh, a lot of different things that we didn't see before on NAB. In over almost every implementation, there is this this notion of a fit between business process and the system. And I, either it is a matter of adjusting the system to fit the business process or change the business process to fit the system. In your opinion, which is better? With my experience, I think that it, in some cases it's very to adjust the process to the ERP. Obviously, we are going to have some process that are out of the ERP, so we are going to have a small customization, yes. But the idea is to have a small customization, don't change all the ERP to be able to adjust to the, the business process. So I think that we, we, we should find a point where we are going to say, okay, we can change this business process, our other ones, that it's impossible to change it. So. In this case, we are going to adjust the ERP to business process, but the idea is to find a way to adjust the process to ERP, change in some cases the way the, the company has been doing all this work, because we have the common centers. This is what we are doing and it works for us, so we want it to continue to do it. Yes, but you can improve it, you can uh, have a very more quick work, something like that. So in this case, it's better to think. And in some cases, I will change my process, but it's not to make the process uh, a little more complicated. No, it's to improve your process. If you want to change, it's important also in some cases to change the process. In other cases that are specific, it will be necessary to make a customization for the ERP to be able to adjust to business process, but it's our specific points that, okay, without this is the central load operation of the company, we cannot change it. Okay, we understand, we, we are going to say yes. <laughs>